dear brothers and sisters i welcome you all to hear and see this video message in this video i am going to explain why india should go for nuclear energy when india has an ocean of energy this article i wrote on 31st january 2020 and my suggestion already i sent to our union government through citizens portal mygovernment.in content for this video i given in the description you can go through and study in the 1950s the legendary physicist dr homi baba have the country a road map for the development of nuclear energy india's 667 6,780 megawatt of nuclear power plants contribute to less than 3 percentage of the country electricity generation. The government has sanctioned another 9,000 megawatt power generators. With all this, it is difficult to see India's nuclear capacity going beyond 20,000 megawatt over the next two decades which will be the meet maximum 3 to 5 percentage of our demand. The average cost of electricity produced by the existing 22 reactors in the country is around rupees 2.80 per kilowatt hour, but the new plants which cost rupees 15 to 20 crores per megawatt, megawatt to set up will produce energy that cannot be sold commercially below at least rupees 7 per unit. Currently, we are using uranium as a fuel for nuclear power plant. The biggest barrier for development in nuclear power plant is safety, that is its hazard residues. These hazardous residues should be preserved below 3000 feet over thousands of years. But if we use thorium as a fuel, it requires only 300 years to preserve these hazardous materials. Thorium nuclear power plant will not be melt, so it is much safety than uranium using plants. Also, plutonium will not be a yield as a byproduct, which is the main ingredient to manufacture nuclear weapons. India having much inexhaustible resource of thorium, which is having one fourth of global account. So, union government should take research in thorium nuclear development power plants than uranium. Even upcoming decades, this research will not be much fruitful. The situation will come in global countries after three to five decades that all fossil fuels are exhausted. Then that time India will be surplus in thorium production and advanced in technology. By think so, we can guide global countries and export thorium at best price and makes economic development in our country. So, Indian government should develop thorium nuclear researches and sideline to reduce the uranium nuclear efforts for betterment of citizens. Bible says in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 6 to 8, Go to the end, though sluggard, consider her ways and be wise which having no guide, overseer or ruler, provide her meat in the summer and gather her food in the harvest. Amen. It should happen for India. Though the thorium and uranium highly harmful sources regarded as saviour on certain counts, the country has a better option under the seas. Nuclear plants can provide the base load. They give a steady stream of electricity day and night, just like, just like coal or gas plants. Wind and solar power plants produce energy much cheaper, but their power supply is irregular. With gas not available and coal on its way out due to reason of cost and global warming concerns, nuclear is sometimes regarded as their savior. But we don't need that savior anymore. There is a now a better option. The seas are literally throbbing with energy. There are at least several sources of energy in the seas. One is the bobbing motion of the waters or ocean swells. You can place a flat surface on the waters 
with a mechanical arm attached to it and it becomes a pump that can be used to drive water or compressed air through a turbine to produce electricity another is by taping into tides which flow during one part of the day and yep in another we can generate electricity by channeling the tide and place a series of turbines in its path one more way is to keep turbines on the sea bed at place where there is a current and a river within a sea yet another way is to get the waves dash against pistons in say a pipe so as to compress air at the other end sea water is dense and heavy when it moves it can punch hard and it never stop moving all these methods have been tried in pilot plants in several parts of the world brazil denmark uk korea india also gujarat state power corporation had a tie up with uk's atlantic resources for 50 megawatt tidal project in the gulf of kutch but the project was given up after they discovered they could sell the electricity only at rupees 13 per unit for sure ocean energy is costly today even solar cost us rupees 18 a unit in 2009 when technology improves and scale effect kicks in ocean energy also will look real friendly initially ocean energy would need to incentivize the solar was also wind and solar now stand on their own legs and those subsidies could now be given to ocean energy bible says in genesis chapter 1 verse 2 and the spirit of god moved upon the faces of waters also in job chapter 38 8 verses 8 to 11 or who shut up the sea with doors when it break forth as if had issued out of the womb and said hither to shall thou come but no further and here shall thy proud waves be stayed amen that waves should generate electricity for citizens of india